Hey cocktail lovers, so we're here today um, doing another Cinco de Mayo cocktail. Cocktail. And this one today is the it's a sweet corn margarita and it just intrigued me so much that we are making it with a little altercation. It altercation. Alteration. I think it's an altercation, but that's okay. It's an alteration. It calls for cilantro, but I couldn't find any good cilantro in the store, so we have a basil plant, and the recipe did say you could substitute basil. So this will be in a cocktail garden soon. And wow, you just get high off of it now down in the bar. It smells so good. I love the smell of basil. But So anyway, for this you're going to take, and again, we couldn't find corn on the cob this time of year in Minnesota. So what you're supposed to do is take an ear of corn, take the corn off the cob, put it in the microwave with a little bit of water, and then you're going to take four ounces of your corn. So we just microwaved some frozen corn and we're going to put four ounces of sweet corn in the muddler or in the shaker. And then Mark is going to muddle it. You gotta put some leaves in there. Oh yes. And then we have to put six basil leaves in there. If it was cilantro, you'd put 12 cilantro leaves in there. What was that, two? It was three. Four, five, six. This is the new, um, <laughs> new counting show. If you see the lights <laughs> flicker, then you know that the count from Sesame Street is here. Hopefully there's no copyright infringement on that. No! <laughs> 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 oh my god. Okay. So once Mark is done muddling, he's going to put in two ounces of lime juice, which we squeezed for you ahead of time, so you don't have to go through that. And then two tablespoons, or sorry, one tablespoon of agave syrup, and he's just going to eyeball that. You really can't go wrong with agave syrup. It's super good. You really can't. And then it is four ounces of tequila. <laughs> Or, can or, I have that? Oh yeah, you can have the, the jigger thing. I'll move my four. That's some my tequila. Corn out of the way. I know somebody who's going to be laying on the floor <laughs> later tonight. You want to slap okay. some ice in there for me? Oh yeah, ice it is. That enough? Yep. One more. Spoon. You can put some in my glass bowl. All there. right. You So it doesn't sound like there's any ice in there, but if those mint leaves banging against... Basil. I'm sorry, basil <laughs> banging against it, getting all that flavor in there. And then you're supposed to rim it with a chili lime salt, which we did. Ours is habanero lime salt, though, so it'll give it an extra, a little extra, a little extra kick. Tequila! It looks good. I just like that. And of course, we made one for me. Of so, course, with four ounces of tequila, she didn't want to pass that up. I sure don't. I, I do love a good tequila. All right. Cheers. cheers. Oh, well, the salt is hot. The drink is good. The drink is really good. It's very light. I like that. I, I like the corn in there. Yeah. It gives it a whole different taste. It does. I like it a lot. Hopefully you can see me over this basil plant. It's kind of huge. Um, She's kind of short. <laughs> well, I am a little short, but we just made a um, tequila mule with jalapenos in it. I would not use the same rimming salt. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was hot enough already. That was a little spicy. So I... Make sure and like us and subscribe to us, our channel, and see and what we'll we make, come up with next time. And we'll make more creations for you. Yeah, for sure. Until next time, cheers. cheers.